Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa circular permutation. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna na pindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Sige na, pindutin nyo na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Talaga ba? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, mga anak, disclaimer lang ha. Si Teacher Maria ay hindi grade 10 teacher. Kaya yung mga request nino sa grade 10 ay hinay-hinay lang kasi pinag-aaralan ko talaga ng todo. Ito nga lang 1 to 4 na problems na ito ni-research ko pa at umabot ako ng 2 hours bago ko makompleto para lang maibigay ko yung tamang solution dito sa gagawin natin. Okay, so simulan na natin to Number 1. How many ways can 6 boys and 6 girls be seated at a round table if no restriction is imposed? Okay, alam naman na natin yung formula, di ba? For circular permutation, that is P equals to N minus 1. Okay, factorial. Okay, so for letter A, enter ko lang to. We have here no restriction. Ibig sabihin, ano ang N natin dito? May anim kang boys, may anim kang girls. Yung total objects mo will be 12. Okay? Having that, you will have here, uh -huh, P is equal to N minus 1. So, your N is 12. So, 12 minus 1 factorial. Okay? So, this will be 11 factorial. And 11 factorial is 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? I-multiply natin using this calculator. Tingnan nyo ha, baka na naman may nakakalimutan akong pindutin. So, we have 11 times 10 times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Okay, so ang answer natin dito ay napakalaki. This is 39,916,039 Okay, ta, 39 million, tama ba? 916,000, 916,000, and 800. Okay, 800 ways. Dahil nga, ang dami nating bata, o, oh, 12 yan. So, 11 lahat. Kaya ganyan, karaming ways siya pwedeng i-arrange sa round table. Okay, now, the girls and boys are to occupy alternate seat. Okay, so dapat alternate yung upuan nila. Okay, paano yun mangyayari? O, tingnan natin to kung circular table yan. Okay, meron ka dito. O, pagpalagay natin nandito yung starting point natin. Kaya natin ginagawang mag minus 1 kasi yung starting point natin binabawas na natin. Kasi siya, dyan lang siya talaga. Hindi siya pwedeng maiba kasi circle nga ito. Suppose this is girl girl number 1, so girl number 2, girl number 3, girl number 4, girl number 5, and girl number 6. Okay, so that is, aha, ilan yan? That is 6 minus 1 kasi circular ito, that's 5 factorial. Ngayon, si boys, kahit saan mo siya ilagay dito, pwede, ba Si boy number 1, boy 2, Boy 3, boy 4, boy 5, bo boy 6. So, 6 factorial siya, ha? Iba ka sabihin nyo, ma, bakit hindi tayo magma-minus ng 1 kay boy, kay girl nag-minus tayo? Kasi si boy, yung position niya, pwedeng maiba-iba. Si girl kasi, yung isa dun sa position niya, bawal maiba. Kaya, minus natin yung 1 sa kanya. Okay, so, ilan na ngayon ito? Ito ngayon ay magiging 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
5 times 4 is 20, times 3 is 60, times 2 is 120. So, ito, 120 to. Times, o, yung 120, kasi yung 5 to 1 ay 120 times 6. Ilan lahat yun? Ayan natin. So, we have 20, ay, no, 120 times 6. 120 times 6. So, that's 720. So, ito, magiging... 120 times 720. O, ilan lahat yan? So, 720 times 120 equals 86,400. Okay. So, ganyan yung gagawin ninyo, ha? Yung bilang ninyo ay nakadepende sa given ninyo. Pero, same procedure lang yung mangyayari. For letter C, four particular girls must sit together, okay? Yung apat daw na babae, dapat mag, uh, nakaupo sila together, okay? So, etong girls na to will be counted as one, okay? So, mababawasan tayo ng tatlo doon sa N natin or sa number of objects natin. So, 12 minus 3, ilan na lang siya? So, you will have here 9. So, ang N natin ngayon ay 9. Kaya, magkakaroon ka ngayon kung N minus 1 factorial yung ating uh, circular permutation, magiging 9 minus 1 na lang siya, factorial. Pero, tatandaan ninyo, yung 3 na minus natin dito, okay, kailangan i-factorial din natin sila kasi may sarili-sarili din silang arrangement. So, etong makukuha natin dito, i-multiply pa natin siya with 3 factorial. Tapos, pwedeng mauna yung uh, tong particular girls na to, yung 4, or pwede din naman yung uh, yung 9 na ito. Kaya, ibig sabihin, may dalawa pang arrangement. Kaya, ipipermute pa na din ulit natin yon So, 2, 2 factorial yon Okay? So, magiging ito ay 8 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Okay, what is 8 factorial? Let's have this one. So, we have... 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 40,320. 40,320 times. Ang 3 factorial ay 3 times 2, diba? Times 1. So, that's 6. Okay, times. Ang 2 factorial ay 2 times 1. So, that's 2. Okay, so ituloy lang natin ito. Ito ang ngayon ay magiging 40,320 times 6 times 2 is 12. O kama to ha, baka akalain nyo times. Okay, so what is now 40,320 times 12? 40,320 times 12. That's 483,000. Ilan? 483,840. Ang dami. Okay. O, ganyan pag may particular girls, ha? Or meron silang isang sama-sama na. Ima-minus nyo lang siya, ika-count as 1. Tapos, ipipermute mo rin yung kinuha mo. Tapos, times 2 factorial pa siya. Kasi may dalawa pang arrangement na pwede sa kanya. Okay. Now, for letter D, a particular girl... Girls must not sit together. Ito medyo komplikado din to. Nahirapan akong hanapin ito. O, sa getting na natin na dapat daw yung apat na particular girls must not sit together. So, etong apat na to, ima-minus natin siya. Okay, sa ating N. So, 12 minus 4, lalabas na meron tayong 8 na lang. Okay? So, yung 8 na yan, okay, minus 1 yan. Kasi N minus 1 tayo, di ba? Factorial. Pero, hindi pa tapos to. Ia-add natin, kasi kung titingnan natin ha, kung hindi sila pwedeng magkakatabi, isisingit lang natin siya doon sa walong slot. Okay? Kung meron akong walong slot dito, kunyari, boy... Boy, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then G, G. Okay? So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Meron tayong pwede niyang pagpuntahan dito. Si girl, yung apat na girl na tinanggal natin. Ibig sabihin, sa walong to, saan natin ipapasok yung apat na yon. Ibig sabihin, sa 8... 
kukunin pa natin yung apat. So, permutation of 8 taken 4 pa yung gagawin natin. So, paano natin ito isosolve? This is now 7 factorial plus... Alam nyo na to, di ba? This is n factorial, so 8 factorial over n minus r factorial. So, 8 minus 4 factorial. Okay, so what is 7 factorial? Ilan iyan? That is, solve na natin, ha? Hindi ko nasusulat yung marami. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so that's 5,040. Okay, plus ito, 8 factorial, so 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Okay, bakit 4 na lang yan? Kasi 8 minus 4 is 4. So, makakancel lang siya. Magiging, ilan na ito? 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. So, that is 1,680. So, magiging 5,040 plus 1,680 na siya. Pag in natin iyan, ito ay magiging ilan? This is 5,040 plus 1,680 equals 6,720 ways. Okay? Now, for letter E, all girls must sit together. So, yung lahat ng girls dapat magkakasama. Okay, so kung ilan yung girls, anim, counted as one na lang sila. So, 12 minus 5 kasi tatanggalin natin yung 5 kasi isa na lang yung makakount natin sa kanila. So, 12 minus 5 is 7. So, yung bago nating N ay 7. Kaya magiging ilan to? 7 times, ah, uh, 7 minus 1 factorial. Okay? Tapos, syempre, ipipermute din natin yung lima na binawas natin kasi may sarili-sarili din naman silang arrangement doon. So, that will be 5 factorial. Tapos, pwede pa natin silang, ah, uh, kung nyari, kung yung girl yun nandito, tapos pwedeng maging boy yun nandito, so meron pa rin tayong dalawa pang arrangement. So, times 2 factorial pa dito. Okay? So, ilan to? 7 minus 1 is 6 factorial times 5 factorial times 2 factorial. Okay, what is 6 factorial? This is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, that's 720. Bakit ko ba minumultiply pa sa 1? 720 times, ang 5 ay 120, di ba? Times 2. Okay? So, what is 720 times 120 times 2? 120, oh no, 720 muna. 720 times 120 times 2. Okay, so that's, hala, ano nangyari? Ulit, 720 times 120 times, hmm, 720 times 120 times 2. So that is 172 thousand okay 800 okay 800 so that's it now for number two how many ways can five key or five keys be arranged on a ring okay or on a key ring mga anak pag ganito ang example kunyari yung mga bracelet necklace, necklace sorry na i-arrange no ang formula dito ay P is equal to N minus 1 factorial over 2. Laging divided by 2, ha? So, eto ngayon ay magiging 5 minus 1, K okay, factorial over 2. 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial over 2. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2. I-cancel lang ito. So, 4 times 3 times 1 is 12. So, there are 12 ways. Okay, now for number 3, in how many ways can be or can 6 boys be seated around 
a circular table. Oh, napakadali lang nito. So, this is just simply P equals to N minus 1. So, 6 minus 1, o oh, yung factorial. Okay, 6 minus 1 factorial. So, that's a 5 factorial. Dahil kabisado ko na ang 5 factorial na 5 times a 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 ay equal kay 120. Okay, kasi 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60 times 2 is 120. Okay, now, how many ways can 7 students be seated at a round table if 2 boys must sit together? Okay, so yung 2 boys dapat bilang na nila as isa. So, mababawasan tayo ng isa dito. Ito magiging 6 na lang. So, yung n natin is equal to 6. So, n minus 1. So, 6 minus 1 factorial. Okay, factorial will be, ilan ito? This is a 5 factorial. Pero tatandaan nyo na yung dalawa na yon na magkatabi ay may arrangement din. Kaya i-factorial pa natin or i-permute pa natin siya by 2 factorial. Kaya magiging ilan ito? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 yan. 2 times 1. So this is 120 times 2. 120 times 2 is 240 ways. Ayan, ngayon kung naintindihan nyo at natulungan ko kayo dyan sa sinasagutan ninyo, nako din ay medyo nahirapan ng onte. Ha, ay comment yan dito sa baba. Huwag kalimutang i-share ito sa mga friends nyo at please mga anak, dalawin nyo naman ako sa Facebook page ko. Ha, Maria Matix Math. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!